Today's topic is the second video on operant conditioning and will cover schedules of reinforcement. I will be posting topics covered in most Intro to Psychology courses every two weeks. Click on the Learn My Test button at the bottom of this page to subscribe to this channel so you can stay updated on the new videos that I post. Remember that the best way to study is to create practice tests. If you can't find practice tests, check out Learn My Test for free at LearnMyTest.com. I will also be creating practice tests on all my videos on Learn My Test. So add me as a study buddy, Brian Collin, bgcollin at gmail.com, and I'll send you my practice tests. So in review, reinforcers are things that increase the likelihood of you doing something. So for example, your paycheck increases the likelihood that you're going to continue to go to work. If you stop getting your paycheck, you're probably might stop going to work. Um, and a parent complimenting their kid for good behavior is another example. Primary reinforcers are anything that serves a basic biological need, such as food, drink, or physical attraction. So secondary reinforcers are motivators that, that motivate you because they're associated with primary reinforcers. Money is a great example. So you aren't born wanting money or naturally wanting money. You learn that money's associated with buying food, buying water, shelter, and things like that. And that's why money motivates Skinner, the father of operant conditioning, trained rats and pigeons to press a lever in what he called a Skinner box. He reinforced the animals with food in different ways related to one, how often he reinforced them, and two, how much time passed between reinforcements. To illustrate the schedules of reinforcement, I'm going to use an example of Brian and his son, Stephen. Now, Stephen has an issue with leaving the TV on. And so Stephen's dad, Brian, wants to, you know, reinforce Stephen to turn the TV off after he's done using it. Ratio reinforcement is that you're reinforced after a certain number of times you do the behavior. So for example, Brian could give Stephen $1 every time he turns off the TV, or he could give him $1 every three times he turns off the TV, or even every one dollar every five times he turns off the TV. Continuous reinforcement is a type of fixed ratio reinforcement where you are reinforced every time you do the behavior. So for example, if Brian gives Steven a dollar every time he turns off the TV, that would be an example of continuous reinforcement. Let's assume that Stephen has a fraternal twin named Jill who also has problems turning off the TV. Let's assume that Stephen gets reinforced a dollar every time he turns off the TV. And Jill gets reinforced a dollar every five times she turns off the TV. Who do you think will learn to turn off the TV faster, Stephen or Jill? Since Stephen is getting one dollar every time he turns off the TV and Jill is only getting one every five times, Stephen will learn to turn off the TV faster. However, who do you think will be more likely to continue turning off the TV once Brian decides to stop paying them to turn off the TV? Since Jill was reinforced every five times she turned off the TV, she will not expect to be reinforced every time and will likely continue the behavior a little bit after, you know, his, he, she stops getting paid, whereas Stephen will expect it every time. And so when he doesn't get it, he'll be more likely to stop the behavior. Variable ratio reinforcement is getting reinforced as every certain amount of times, but when you get reinforced is unpredictable. So let's say you're betting that a flipped coin will land on heads. You know about half the time you're going to win and half the time you're going to lose, but you don't know exactly when you're going to win and when you're going to lose. Jill, who is on a fixed ratio schedule, knows that she will get $1 from her dad every fifth time she remembers to turn off the TV. If Jill were on a variable ratio schedule, she wouldn't know when she's going to be reinforced. And after five times turning off the TV, could make $5 or could even make $0. Slot machines are variable ratio reinforcement because people don't know when the jackpot is going to come. And since it's a mystery, many people will continue to lose money and not be reinforced because they don't want to miss out on the possibility of getting a jackpot. Variable ratio reinforcement is very effective and casinos take advantage of it. Fixed interval reinforcement is when reinforcement occurs after a specific amount of time has passed. So let's take Jill for example. 
who gets one dollar every time she remembers to turn off the TV at least once in a given day. Let's take, for example, Stephen, who is on a fixed ratio schedule of reinforcement and gets one dollar every two times he remembers to turn the TV off. Well, his sister Jill is on a fixed interval schedule of reinforcement and gets one dollar every day for remembering to turn the TV off at least once. If both Stephen and Jill turn the TV off four times in a day, Jill would still get one dollar and Stephen would get two dollars. However, if they only remember to turn the TV off once in a day, Jill would still get one dollar for that day and Stephen would get zero dollars. A good example of a fixed interval reinforcement schedule is getting paid by the hour or bi-weekly if you're a salaried employee. You get paid for working a set amount of time, not for accomplishing specific goals. So a doctor who gets paid by the hour could see one patient or 10 patients in an hour and still gets paid the same amount of money. Variable interval reinforcement is when reinforcement happens over an unpredictable amount of time. An example of variable interval reinforcement is when you're at a traffic light. Sometimes the traffic light turns green right away, and other times you have to wait a couple minutes before the light turns green. Another example is when you're going through airport security. Sometimes you can go through it really fast, and other times it takes a really long time. Review, fixed ratio reinforcement is reinforcement after X number of times. Variable ratio reinforcement is reinforcement after an unpredictable number of times. Fixed interval reinforcement is reinforcement after a set amount of time. And variable interval reinforcement is reinforcement after an unpredictable amount of time. The best way to study is to create and take practice tests. If you can't find practice tests, use Learn My Test to create your own for free and learn while you do it. If you would like to receive practice tests on the content posted, Sign up for Learn My Test and add Brian Collin as a study buddy, bgcollin at gmail.com. New psychology videos will be posted every week. Click the icon below to subscribe to our channel and stay updated on the latest videos.